This is going to be Friday, August 6th. We're attempting to record fifth period, but we're going to learn those. Not every class gets to be recorded because some classes have issues. And if you have issues, I just delete the recording and then use oh. a different one. Uh, also, if you try to get on the camera, then I also have to be mean to you, so don't try to get on the camera because that would be bad. And also, if you're the kid that gets yelled at, then I do get to keep that recording and then I just email it to your parents. Uh, so once again, the sooner you realize I always win, <laughs> It's just going to make things go that much easier. Yeah. And I'm hoping at some point Abby comes back to life. But we're going to find out from there. All right, so we have to there. Kids at home, hey. So I also found out that apparently... No, I don't want to split. We'll save that one. It's an apparently thing for later. So we're good there. Uh, notebook, we're not going to get to it until next week. Uh, so again, hold on to notebook. We'll eventually get to it. But I'm not going to get to it till then because I'm enjoying way too many other things we're going to get to today. The picture of you, we're also going to get to next week. So just hold on to them. Normally, I would get to them this week, but it's been a screwy week, and I'm having more fun just harassing kids and educating you, so I figure you'll just tolerate me pushing off stuff into the future. All right, and then to there, schedule again. You have no best today. You had best yesterday, which we'll talk about, and then you have best coming up next Tuesday, but today is just me, longer class periods, just five, six, seven, and then we're done. Oh, oh, also, kids at home, uh, what we're going to so you're aware, I'm going to be wandering around the room as I teach today, so I'm not always going to be on the screens. I've learned I can now just creepily stand over kids, uh, and so I'm going to be disappearing, but hopefully you can still hear my voice because I'm loud and booming and stuff like that. Uh, so, Best, yesterday. My question is, how did Best go for you guys yesterday? Like, legit? Was it? Uh, this, for you guys, how many of you guys in your best class did you guys go over the uh, the handbook thing? Uh, yeah. How many of you guys in best did your teacher not cover the handbook at all? Yes. Apparently, I had a bunch of teachers who did not cover the thing at all. Oh, are there? Are you trying to run away here? Is there someone at the door? You heard something.
Charlie. Are we allowed to wear boonies? Yeah, because it doesn't cover your face. They're only worried about is this bidding to cover your face and stuff like that. So if you, I mean, technically, if you have a baseball cap and you want to just cut off the brim, I mean, you can start your own style. Uh, you so you could. Brim. And you can just walk around and be like, what? Because technically, there's no brim. And so, fight the power. Uh, more power to you. Grant? Isn't that stupid? Because can't they just, you know, like, twack you by your clothes? Yeah, I had the same thing. And <laughs> they said, you might not know this, but some adults are dumb. I know. I know some. I some Shh. Can you tell me that? Uh, and so, yeah, I had the same issue on that one. But I, all I know is, like, that's what we got yelled at about. Because right? I had the same questions. And so, they are just, whatever. I just don't want to get yelled at. Brett? I think I know why your kids are being dying. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Living with me would definitely do that for your kid. Leslie, you have a question? When you were talking about the hat, like, what form is it? Can't the like, top look like a logo on the helmet or something? Yeah, same thing. I would think so. It comes from people above me, and so like, if I had control, yeah. But apparently I'm kind of scary, and the idea of me having control of stuff like that intimidates people, so. Yeah. <laughs> Miles, isn't like the whole entire school around the cameras other than like the bathroom? Pretty much everywhere. Yeah. Like they would be on camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's a camera in the bathroom? No, not yet. Uh, hopefully eventually, but no, not yet. They're all but, the So like the, you would see them as they put it back. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm on your side, boo. I'm like, I, I have no control over that. Anyway, did not know that was going to be such a distraction. Anyway, back to best. Best of wealth. You don't have it today. You're going to have it back Tuesday, Thursday. Have patience. I'll get to you another day. All right. There. Talk goals, hopefully judging of teachers has gone well. You've now had two solid days of judging teachers, and now you're like your third day in. You get to continue judging me, which I'm perfectly fine with. Okay. New location. Ah, uh, so I'm just going over to a new spot. I'm not right, my bad. Let me make sure I was like quickly standing over the top of you. Uh, and so uh, I'm also continuing to judge you guys as we go through it. We're going to get more today. Today we have a lot more interaction, and I'm learning your names. Not all of them, as you saw me struggle, but I'm getting there. And so as I learn the names and personalities, we get to interact with each other. We get to keep doing this whole judging thing. And honestly, partly why I'm pushing the homework back is that I've been legit enjoying just interacting with you guys, and you guys have been making this fun for me. So as long as I keep enjoying myself, I keep forgetting to give you homework, and it keeps getting pushed in the future. Nice. It's not going to happen forever. Oh, Eventually, wow. I'm going to get tired of you and we're going to get to the homework thing. But so far, it's been like homework or enjoy myself and hanging out with kids. And I've been like, eh. one of them definitely wins out over the other. Karen 10? Once the other people come, will you get more exciting? Like, awesome. I don't know. I have to wait for those kids. When those kids exist, then we'll find out. I don't know if they're good kids or hooligan kids. <laughs> All right, and then to there. Uh, we'll talk about that. I'll turn it to there. Lunchroom. You've now had your three days of lunch events. You have official Monday, I think, is when they lock in your seat. So hopefully you've figured out where to be, where to sit, and everything's working for you as far as that goes. Um, yeah, as I, said, I had some of my eighth graders keep coming and complaining to me. Because they're like, my ex-boyfriend keeps coming and sitting down next to me. What am I supposed to do? And I'm like, sit somewhere else. Uh, so if you have a creepy ex who keeps sitting near you, sit away from them on Monday. Because then you're free. Whoever it is, boy, girl, it, thing, whatever you used to date, just avoid them. Uh, and then it's good to go. Non-judgment. I mean, it says judgy right there. Oh, teach their own. And then it's their homework. So there. So notebook, there's a thing we're going to do with your notebook where we're going to fill it in and do writing and like learning and stuff like that. It's going to take a bit. My guess is that we're not going to get to it until Tuesday. Bring it Monday on the off chance things go well, but my guess is we're not going to get to it till Tuesday as far as the learning of this go. Uh, and same thing with the picture of you. I'm going to try and aim for Monday, but that might also be Tuesday. The bad news is those of you who have picture, don't lose it. So make sure that you keep bringing it back each day. Don't be the kid that has its day and then loses it for next week because that would be bad. Right, then the yellow sheet is your actual real homework. I have to give that to you by Tuesday because I have to talk to your parents about it Wednesday night at back to school night. So I'll tell you, your first real homework assignment, now, real, quotation marks, it's 15 minutes because the very first direction says do not spend more than 15 minutes on this because we'll talk more about that in the future. So it's not a real long one. Literally, it's just a 15-minute like English review, and that's it. 
and that will probably be Monday to Tuesday or Tuesday to Wednesday. All right, multiple there. Responsibility check, we already did this and already tortured kids, which was wonderful. Composition, don't hold it up. Oh, wait, some of you want to give credit for it. If you have the notebook, you did not have it before, I want to go ahead and give you points so that we can give you good things. And then if you don't have it, it's not the end of the world, so it's always somewhat nice to you. Uh, does not exist, does not exist. Carrington, look at that, you do have it. Go with you, and then this kid uh, does not exist yet, and that's fine, it's the spiral one, and you know spiral comes with bad things as long as you're okay with that. Huh? Now, if you're more than welcome to switch it out next week. If you show up next week and it's like a completely different notebook, I'm fine with that. If not, bring that one, it's better than nothing. All right, and then that kid doesn't exist, and good job, Brett, you now have a selection of them. All right, the other kids aren't alive, so problem solved. Hello, home children. All right, let's move to a whole new spot, make it more nice and creepy again. It could be anyone. Who can I offer these to? All right, um, there, and then again, if you're absent, make sure you go to my YouTube page. Oh, this one, I found out apparently. I'm sorry, did you have a question, Greg? Oh, no, sorry. You're fine, you can do it. If you're stretching, I just want to ignore you. If you want to keep stretching, I have a problem with it. Um, and as far as the YouTube page goes, apparently, my past students who are in high school have been watching the last two days because I've been getting social media messages from my past kids in high school. They're like, are you growling at kids? I'm like, yes. I'm like, why are you growling at your children? I'm like, because they were irresponsible. Like, that's adorable. I'm like, I'm not trying to be adorable. I'm trying to be intimidating. Apparently, I failed at intimidating. Uh, so congratulations. Uh, high schoolers are watching me make fun of you. Uh, by the way, if you're one of my high schoolers watching this right now, what up? Uh, but other than that, I'm trouble. If you are watching this, I'll uh, wait about 10 to 15 minutes. And there's going to be like an entertaining thing we're going to be doing, which you might enjoy listening to. Uh, for those of you who are here, just wait. It's coming. Right. I'm not God. It's okay. Uh, make sure at some point. <laughs> sorry, I made myself giggle. Uh, make sure that you have written your um, locker combinations Monday. You're going to be confused and trying to teach you guys too awesome. Right, it's there. Has that been helpful? The signs of yeah. all the yeah. 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 Even though yeah. 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 Some of you are still going to struggle because you're human. It's okay. But I figure if we can cut down some of it, then that makes things better. And at the end of the day, the hallway you want is the one that says science. So if you're trying to figure out which one to go down, the science hallway is the quickest way out to most of the buses. If it helps you, yay. If it's not helping you, then uh, we're just trying to blow hundreds of stars wandering around in circles, something in things. So we're trying on some level. All right, we're going to cover this with you guys who are part of the Heroes team. Uh, Globetrotters and Stars are the other two teams here. Um, did we get to the screen for you guys yesterday? Yes. 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 All right. And so the fact that the Globetrotters are the team that thinks they're as good as us, but they're not. Uh, and so especially if you have past siblings from the Globetrotters team, I'm sorry. I mean, you're better than them, but I mean, sorry that you have to have one in your house. Uh, they bring down your overall house value just didn't exist. Uh, but you being there brings up the house value, so it kind of balanced out a little bit. And then the stars, they're like puppies. No one hates the stars. They're just adorable. Um, don't use pods. And then it's there. Let's play. We're going to do a small mini quiz all together. We get to serve answer. I'm going to give you guys a chance to semi-aggressively speak loudly at me. All heroes have the same three teachers. So one, who does every hero have for English? Not well, you. Yeah. yeah. You has a name. What is you's name? <laughs> sure. And who do all of you have for science? Uh, Sally. And then for social studies? Rainbow. And then for math? No. Either no. Yeah. Yeah. It was a trick question because you all have different teachers for math. I was seeing if you guys were going to say whoever your math teacher was. So you all have different ones as far as that one goes. Go you there. There. And that's right here, symbol. If I didn't tell you guys yesterday, I'm here. So this will be all over my classroom when I actually get my classroom back. It's the one that I made. And in the middle of it, that right there, that's me. Um, and so in case you're unaware of it, that was a, a kid brought that in, found a sticker on me. Uh, so it's a big deal. I used to have a goatee with like a little deer thing on the bottom, and then I shaved it off a couple years ago. But the horns still pop out sometimes. Um, if you make poor enough choices, you'll see the horns. Uh, the smiling always happens. It's almost always eating a child's soul. Uh, but it's just because it's my fault. They're delicious and tasty. 
saw these pictures yesterday. As I go through and show you the pictures, there's every chance you're going to notice new things each time we go through, and that'll be true in my room. And just normally in my room every day, you can sit and be like, I found a new thing every day. It's going to happen. And here, there's only four things in my room. So like, I found a thing. We already have questions. Teresa, what questions do you have? I don't have a question. What's up? Um, should you do a thing where you show the people what new things you got every single day? I could. It's more fun that I just, because kids bring me in stuff like eighth graders, like I have like my little masks, stuff like that, that kids will bring into me already. I just add them up, and it's more fun when kids notice them, and they go, is that new? And I go, no, it's been there for years, because then it messes with kids' heads, and that's way more entertaining for me, just to add them up there and pretend it's always been there, because there's so much stuff in my room, you don't know if it's true or not, and that entertains me. Don't be selfish. Think of my entertainment. Karen, Tim? How long does Oh, and you keep being my teacher, right? Yeah. The end of your teacher days. You gonna take all that down? I mean, eventually. I had to do it this past year. Oh. It took me like because uh, I had everything. It was twenty years. I had everything up in my room, and I took oh. it down in a week. So. What? I mean, oh. How? Professional. That's wow. a lot. Uh, and so yeah, it's just all in boxes and storage right now. And then once I get my room back, I bring it all back out. Miles. So if we just like walk into class with like a box one day, you're just gonna put it in. Your room. I mean. You can't just hide your own things in there. You've got to come back, give it to me as a gift, 
you don't get to store your trash in my room. And just be like, there's a box, and just plop it down. But if you bring me a thing, I'm like, oh, that's cool, and I'll hang it up there. Now, if you bring me a cool box, that's different. And I have had kids bring me cool boxes. And so that's a legit possibility. Um, but for now, that's what my room looks like, and it's all kinds of sadness. So yeah, they ripped out everything in my room, and now it's just flat. So in theory, in a couple weeks, it's going to have all new stuff, but like they're putting up all new wallpaper and ceiling bits and floor bits. I mean, I have a whole new room. It's going to be exciting. Fingers crossed. But for now, sadness. Tardies. We didn't talk about this with you guys yet, right? No. Yeah, yeah. All right. So tardies. So just to touch on this real quick as we get into it. So a difference from Sand Creek to here is um, you guys have a lot more responsibility that you get to have. And part of it is passing periods, which you guys didn't get to have at Sand Creek, where you guys get the whole escape from your teachers for five minutes. Where you get to go to your locker or go to Tinkletown or just go talk to friends or just be like, I'm not around a teacher. And you get to have like that time away from them. The bad news is you have to be responsible enough to get to class before the bell rings. If not, you get to have a tardy. Here's how tardies work in my room. For here, when that bell first begins to ring, your booty has to be in the chair when the first bell rings. If your booty's not in the chair, you're tardy. In this room, it's not as much of an issue because there's not much to look at except for a window. But in my normal classroom, where it looks like a museum of this awesome everywhere, it was way more distracting. When we move back into my room, it again, it'll be distracting. And if I come in, like we'll use this room as an example, if I come in and the bell's rung and yours is standing over there staring out the window just watching the grass, I'm going to go, what are you doing? You're like, staring at the grass. I'm like, the bell rang. You're like, yeah? I'm like, you're tardy. You'll go, what are you going to do, old man? And I'm like, well, the first time you're tardy, not much. I just go, hey, you're tardy. And you go, I know. And I go, you're going to do it again? You go, no. And I'm like, you're a liar. And you go, I know. And the first time is just a warning. The second day I come in and I walk in and you're standing over here staring at the wall. And I'm like, what are you doing? And you're like, watching the wallpaper. And I'm like, oh, God, boo. And I'm like, you do know that's your second tardy. And I'm like, what are you going to do? Warn me? And the answer is no. On the second time you're tardy for me, you write a page essay about why you're a horrible child and why you have failed at life so far and why your parents and the big people in your house have not been raising you properly. Then you take it home and they have to sign it and you bring it back. If you don't, I get to actively torture you in class. The third time I come in and I'm like, what are you doing? And they're like, I'm patting the wall. And I'm like, you have issues. And you're like, oh, I know. And I'm like, that's tardy number three. And you're like, is that an essay? I go, no, we get to go to the next level. And the third time you're tardy is a lunch detention. And my lunch detentions, there's a special table called the table of tears where you sit all by yourself where the other kids get to stare at you and you get to feel all sad. And they give you your little meal on a tray and you sit there by yourself while you write two essays about all the poor choices you've made and how you're going to fix yourself and become a better human. How long does it take you to do that? Depends. You keep coming back every single day during lunch until you get it completed. Some kids get it done in one day. Some kids take an entire week because they're slow and they think they can outstubborn me. <laughs> nope. And so you just get to keep coming back until eventually you get it done. The fourth time you're tardy, you just get sent down to the office and like they get to yell at you or something like that. Do I have a lot of kids who get tardies? No, not usually. Typically, you'll get one tardy because you're human and it's going to happen. Typically, we don't usually get to two tardies very often unless you're like either A, that kid that gets lost easily who just like wanders the hallways bumping into things and you're like, I'm just lost all the time, then you probably have issues. Or if you're the super friendly, outgoing kid that wants to talk to every single human, and you're like, I've got so many friends. And then like you have like, I'm going to walk everyone to class. Then you probably have issues also. But then you need to make your own choices. And so that's how the whole tardy thing works. Also, it's per class. So if you're tardy to Melling's class for science, and then you come to my class and you're tardy, that's not two tardies. That's one tardy in each class. And then if you're tardy to Randall's, that's not three tardies. That's one tardy in each of those classes. So you have to get like multiple tardies in one class. So that's the whole responsibility thing. The joy is you get passing period to run around and have fun. Since we robbed you of recess, you get passing period, which is like recess without any jungle gyms. But the drawback is you have to make sure you come back in in time. The other thing is at the end of class, 
when the bell rings, if you've not picked up on it, I like to talk, and I'm really good at it. I'm like a professional talkist. And when the bell rings at the end, I'm going to wrap up what I'm saying as much as I can, but I really enjoy interacting with you guys. But if the bell rings and you just stand up to leave in the middle of me talking, that's incredibly rude and insulting to me. And if you're mean to me, that means I have to be mean to you. And you don't want me to have to be mean to you because then I have to share all my sadness with you and that's going to make you cry. So what you want to do is when the bell rings and you want to leave my class to go to sixth period, stare at me and smile. And when all of you are staring at me and smiling, it fills my heart with love. And my heart's not used to love. That's an unusual emotion for it. So it'll confuse me. And in that confusion, I'm like, <laughs> and then you guys get a chance to leave. And then my confusion, that's when you take off. Every once in a while, there's going to be a kid whose heart is not full of love. And the bell's going to ring. And they're going to be like, I'm going to math. And they're just going to get up. And you're going to see the sadness in me. And you're going to be like, oh, I don't want Mr. Robiak to be sad. So you're going to save that child. And here's how you save that child. I need every kid in the room to point at them. And if there's 25 kids staring and pointing at a child, the love will go from your heart out of your arm and into them. And all of a sudden they'll turn around and they'll see 25 kids staring at them. And you'll know the love is going into them because you'll see the love start to leak out of the corners of their eyes. And usually love is heavy because they sit down to try and help the love come out a little bit faster. Don't laugh at them and make fun of them because that's mean and that's my job. And if you start laughing at them, then I think you're trying to steal my job and that makes me sad. I just need you to stare at them and point and fill their heart with love good to go. We're good at the beginning of the class, be seated, end of the class, fill my heart with love. At some point that's going to happen. No! I meant no. Seriously, I just got done talking about filling my heart with love. So we did not get a chance to get to notebooky things, so bring notebook back, bring picture back. We're going to get to torturing kids next week and all the horrible things I get to do to the kids who fill my heart with oh, love. Oh, no, oh, don't worry. We'll get to it next week. Take off those of you whose hearts are full of love. Oh, I can't wait till next week when we get to the real fun stuff.